people say you have to get the location of your business right, either services or products. That is what this video, this video is all about. Welcome to ChaiExpertsAcademy.com, a place where people come to learn business and be inspired. Once you get right your business idea, you've researched your business idea, you've taken one forward, and you've decided that this is the one that you want to do, you have to validate and be sure that your proposed location or your proposed premise is going to work. Many entrepreneurs and business people skip the stage and end up wasting time chasing a venture or a business that will not work. This happened to me several years ago when I started the business and did not test the location. And when I didn't test the location, the product was good, the, the promotion was good, every other piece in the four piece were good, but the place was not good. I was looking for a parking space, but I was not in the mind of my proposed client. So I should have gone into the market and asked and, and researched my proposed client and asked them if they would come to that location, but they didn't. I started without, without testing my location and even though it had big parking a big store, people did not stay and did not just come in to come and buy. Why? Because my proposed client were workers. They were, they were the workers who worked in an office, they were office workers. And because they were office workers, during the day they wouldn't come out, only if they had breaks. And when they're coming back from work, they just drove past me to the main market and then bought whatever they wanted to buy and then they left. So if my shop, my store was in the main market, I would have had more sales. So it is very important to get the location right. So now that we have established that it is a good move to test your ideas and research and then test your location. We have to be precise about performing, about measuring the performance that you are going to be testing. What are you going to be measuring with your location? What is going to be your measuring skill? We are going to be measuring how much revenue could I generate? How much revenue could you generate? How many products can you sell? How much customers can you generate? These are the things that you have to measure to make sure that your location is going to generate you money, is going to bring in sales. These are the terms that are used to measure business success. I'm not going to be talking about business success, measuring business success in this video. I'm going to do another video where I'm going to talk about measuring business success. So to measure business success, you have to look at the gross profit, look at the expenses, look at the revenue, look at the total assets, look at your net income, look at your gross profit margin, look at your return on assets, the percentage growth, growth rates, stockholders' equity, and return on equity. We're not going to be talking about all these today. If I'm going to be talking about it, it's going to take about 45 minutes, but we're not going to be talking about this today. We just want to focus on testing the place, the, the, the premise, and the location that you're going to be using for your business. There are different ways that we can use to test if our location is going to generate money. There are different ways of testing your business premises. The one is using a landing page for email marketing. That is if your business is online. Number two is build an online store or buy a, and then buy adverts. That is if you're going to be selling products. Third one is set up a market store and sell. If you're going to be selling products that needs a face-to-face -face contact. And the first one is telesales when you're going to be selling over the phone to your proposed clients. Now, test by using a landing page for email marketing. If you have services or 
your business is just going to be online. This is the quickest way to test. You make a landing page, set up a quick one page website, make it seem and feel professional, use a logo, list your services, list your solutions, add a contact email, find the emails of ideal potential buyers and contact them. Manage your communication as they start to email you back and contact you. See if anyone is interested. Look for the feedback. Jot down the feedback. Look into the feedback. Be persistent. When you do this, you're testing your online services business using a landing page. If you're going to be selling products, test by building an online store and buy adverts. You can create an online store on Facebook, WordPress, Shopify, e-commerce. Add a brand and make everything look professional. Add a logo, add graphics, add photos of your products. Make sure the photos are lovely and sharp. Add your professional email and phone number. If you can, make sure your email is not the Yahoo, Gmail, the common type. Sign up to Google Suite. It's called G Suite. And they will give you your company's email. You can make a company's email that is just yours. Spend a little money on adverts on Instagram facebook and monitor the traffic and revenue you generate by so doing you'll be able to test if your business is going to do well if your business is product based and your primary sales method will be face to face then test by setting up a market stall to sell your products. You can find out through the sales and the customer feedback you get if it's going to be successful or not. There are a lot of examples of companies who started with stores, street stores, and they are able to move forward and find out if their company is going to work or not, or the business is going to work or not. So if you're going to be selling face-to-face, -face, test by setting up a market store and sell. Listen and take note of the feedback you get. Look at the prices of people around you and set the correct price and see if you're going to generate sales way that you can use to test if your product or service is going to sell is by testing using telesales selling over the phone so this is one of the best ways and you get quality feedback from it track down the phone of people on linkedin or get in touch with them through facebook and introduce yourself to them with Facebook, you can call them directly from Facebook or just text them to see if they will click and go to your um, landing page or whatever you are, have um, set up. Speak to them. Speak to them through the Facebook Messenger. And then you can get real-time feedback from people and see if you can get others from people. So these are the ways that you can use to test and see if your business is going to work in the real world or not. Use London page for email marketing. Build an online store. Set up a, a market store, a face-to-face -face market store. And use telesales, speak with people, get their feedback, and know if you are able to sell and generate orders and money and sales from your business using these ways do not forget to subscribe to our channel 
and see you next week.